Instead There's... of picking a question, I'm going to freaking roll a d12. Are you going to roll a d12? Hell yeah. <gasps> you know why? Because decisions are hard. That. And that's, that's, a good idea. that's a great idea. Okay. And then if I'm it's when we write, I'll just re-roll. I'm going to yeah. grab a d12 oh, too. Okay. Hold yeah. on. Where's my 12? <laughs> No. Any excuse to roll more dice is what we're saying right, right now. Any Just excuse. you know, okay. that's, this that's is genius. This is, this is what we're doing. Hell yeah, got him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, are you playing? Are we all course? shaking course? liquid corn? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything that fancy. We need to get you a set of these emotion yeah. cores. I sanded I mine mom for my birthday. birthday. I haven't yeah. sanded mine yet because I'm just like trying to naturally wear them in. Wear them in, but oh, I Lisa was meticulous, and it was driving me crazy. Yeah, I just needed it to amazing. be less, less stabby. It's amazing. <laughs> These ones aren't I'm too bad, bad actually. It was. I have. It was I, Like I guess I don't, but Kevin has worse. So like I, these ones, after feeling his like metal sharp edged, oh, the metal, these ones yeah. are fine. <laughs> like, yeah, these ones point. are fine. So okay, um, good everybody point. brought a book and a deck. Yes. 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 Okay. That, that, so, that um, oh, I always forget intro shit. Okay, we're back. We're back with we're another. Back. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> what um, the fuck is up with that? Um, we are doing book club this time. So all book related uh -huh. questions. I've changed the <laughs> the crit twenty and one to reflect our theme. So whenever anybody rolls a nat twenty. You get to pick somebody to read a passage from the book that they've selected. Oh. And then if you roll a crit fail, which is a one, then you have to draw a quick card for everybody else and just give them a real quick, just like quick and dirty, quick and dirty little reading for everybody. Okay. And then we have our usual um, highest roll, picks the question, ask the lowest roll. And then as per usual, I'm sure we'll all jump in anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so real quick, should we talk, should we do real quick our pairing our reads? Should we do that yeah. first? Yeah. What book and book yeah, and deck yeah, yeah. everybody picked? I think I screwed right. up. Why? Because I don't, I don't have, have, I don't have the book. Right wrong. Oh, that's okay. It's still a pairing. It counts. It's still a pairing, but I don't it have counts. the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lisa, you want to go first? I'm going to just go in order. Yeah, I've only paired, well, I was telling Don this before we started, I've only ever paired one deck and one book ever in my life, and it's because of Don. So I'm obsessed with Legends and Lattes by Travis Baltry. It's the best. I'm actually waiting on a special edition hardcover to come in from Kickstarter. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been waiting. I think they're shipping anytime, any day now. It's by Wraithmark Creative. I think you'll be able to still get it, I think, but I'm excited. Anyways, cool. I could read this over and over and over again, like as soon as I finished it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and then I got the tabletop tarot specifically because Dom was like, this is a Legends and Lattes. Deck. It's Legends and Lattes. Totally, That's what it is. It totally mm -hmm. is. It's literally exists in that world. It's basically a lot of like D&D &D races and like mm -hmm. characters you would see and encounter in, in Legends and Lattes. So it's like literally the mm -hmm. perfect combination. Plus the color theme even kind of matches. Color thing. It's, it's very cozy. It's, it's like cozy fantasy vibes. That's awesome. 100% cozy yeah. fantasy vibes. So I freaking love it. And this is also my Carlac deck. Just for anybody Carlac who knows deck. who Carlac is. Yeah. <laughs> She totally reminds yeah. me of Viv. That's why. Yeah. I could totally see her as Viv. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be amazing. I picked an alternate yeah. in case you picked that because I also have that sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Danny, what's yours? So mine is Slewfoot by Brom. Mm -hmm. I loved all the vibes of this book. It was so intense and like, I don't know, it, it, it it was like I was immersed in this whole story and the age and everything. And I was like the perfect deck for that. That gives me those same vibes is the age Ooh. of witchery. Oh, like it just, okay. I'm writing down so like that. that. You know what I mean? Like if she would have mm -hmm. been hunting around in the barn, she might've found something like this, you know? And so oh this one, that's oh. such a cool deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a simplicity okay, to no. it, and it's so much like of the age. Yeah. So that is my mm -hmm. choice. Fun choice. That's Fun combo. Great. 
That's a fun combo. All right, Andy, how about you? What you got? Um, Besides so the I'm, most amazing shirt. I know. It's the most amazing. <laughs> it's the most amazing shirt. Um, so I was reading like all the end of last year, beginning of this year, this book series here. And I met the uh, the author when I went to Newt's. Um, and I was like, the books look so cool. They're all um, named after like the suits. Um, and I just got so immersed in that world. Like I was, I've never, uh, I've oh, never what's seen the series that. Called? Well, it's an indie creator. So the series okay. is called the Madigan Chronicles. Okay. Um, and so the first book is the dagger. And sometimes you can get them on Amazon and sometimes you can't, but you can definitely order them. Just Google it. Um, then there's the magical tarot deck. The wand, and then the one I just finished is the cup, and then the fourth, the fifth one is was on pre-order really soon, so it's coming out really soon. The fourth one, and I think that there's another one right after that, and then it's done. But it's basically about um, a family of witches, like a long family, and they all had um, when the family like started. Back in the beginning, they, they had all of the like elemental, like the cup, the wand, the sword, mm -hmm. and the and the pentacle. And the then it became like too powerful for them to all be together. So the family like split and had no more contact with each other. And then one of the um like one of the fam one of the which is from one family ends up dead because they're trying this evil which is trying to get two elements and like create, you mm -hmm. know, habit. So it goes through all of that, but it, but the world, so the deck that I picked is the, the way home tarot oh, because yeah. it, right. it, oh. it kind of is all over the place. Like we're mm -hmm. in um, New Orleans, we're in Mary, we're in New York, we're in the underworld. And it just kind of like felt like this energy where it's just kind of like, there's so many different people and storylines there's a in the cop like we go to iceland um and oh God, it's just like over. yeah and it's just um yeah so i thought this was a good pairing but just a great a great series i've been just loving it it takes a while to get into it because there's so many characters like you you're getting to know you know a family with five children and they have children and like who were the mm -hmm. generation yeah and then you go into Game of Thrones. We got it. I'm here for it. <laughs> and then they have a space where their like ancestors are when the when the when the head of the family who has like taken charge of that element dies, then they're buried in this like shrine and they're all buried. So they go in and they talk to the ancestors that have had mm -hmm. like this family had the wand and they all had the wand. So the skeletons are like like giving their feedback on like particular things that are happening in the family. Like it's just so twisted and cool and just like an amazing. That sounds read. awesome. Yeah. I am yeah, that so super fun. Oh man. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very but cool. But I feel like I didn't like really read much because I was like, just like, Oh, I just read one book. Like, you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah. they're kind of bigger. Like they look kind of thin, but I think the book is a bit taller. So it did take me like a while to get through, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Those are awesome. I made a note because I had never heard of it before. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Supporting like an independent creator yeah. too. That's and great. She's just like the nicest yeah, person. When I met her, and she was just like, "I hope you know, like, welcome to you know, like the world, and, like you know what I mean, like welcome to our the Madigan world." And she like hoped, mm -hmm. and she's really um, I follow her on Instagram. She's an Instagram so. Yeah, and she would just appreciate any support for her work, but just like amazing. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. really cool. That's awesome. Cool. All right, Marlena, what you got? Oh, I have, um, well, I had a couple of options because I don't have a lot of books with me anymore of what I've previously read because I check mm -hmm. things out from the library a lot. So I did, um, I, I, I've I, read Octavia Butler's whole Xenogenesis series mm -hmm. or it's also called Lilith's Brood and it's like mm -hmm. it's an alien it's an alien 
amazing amazing like it's older too i think i want to say mm -hmm. from the 80s oh i don't know but i used um for that one i used the dream vision tarot mm -hmm. oh. I, my new camera yeah. and I don't know what mm -hmm. is happening okay but anyway i'll just show this really quick but i also um I also created a spread for myself that I do now when I'm pairing my reads. So mm -hmm. the, it's always a four question thing. And it's what is, or how am I like the main character right now? How am I unlike the main character right now? What is this book trying to teach me? And where are we going to go from here? Those are my four questions that oh, I love to do that spread that. When, I'm, when I'm reading. And this was mm -hmm. the first time I ever did it with the Dream Vision Tarot. It worked. So this is just the perfect deck for any alien, any alien series. <laughs> it's just like, mm -hmm. they feel like so otherworldly and so alien to me. Um, but I also... I want to I want to show this one because this is this is definitely a deck and a book that I pair together all wait all this year so far and last year how long we've been doing it you know this little mm -hmm. book oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have, <laughs> and since I've gotten it this has become the deck that I use with any self worth reading from the self worth path. <laughs> I approve. Yeah. So yeah, that's um, amazing. I oh, definitely yeah. approve. Readings, and I just drop cards all over the floor. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too much. Those are yeah. different readings, but yeah, I mean, what could pair better than Lisa's mm -hmm. deck and Lisa's <laughs> book? <laughs> that's amazing. That's awesome. That's great. I'm gonna pick up. The cards that I just oh, you pick up the cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Crystal, what'd you bring? So I have my latest obsession. Yeah, the familiar. I oh, haven't started it. It's on my. It's on my Kindle right now. Is it a sequel mm -hmm. to Ninth House? Because I've read mixed. Feel no, I've no read, this okay. is a, it a standalone. I think it's a standalone. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe more books could come out, but as far as I know, it's a standalone right now. Yeah. Um, I. Loved it so much I bought it, which for me is unheard of. I don't usually buy, I mean, I work in a library every day at work. I can just mm -hmm. <laughs> take yeah. what I want. So, but it was one of those books that when I finished it, I was talking to uh, the adult librarian who works at the library because she reads the like two books a day kind of thing. She's such a big reader. Wow. And so she read this book and I was like, I need to talk about this with someone. And it was like, while we were having a conversation about it both of us were like oh oh but maybe but maybe this maybe but maybe it was this and it was like i i needed to immediately go back and read passages mm -hmm. but there was a big hold list so <laughs> i was like i'm oh. buying the book because i need to see it again right now <laughs> wait what, what's the genre what the genre for this yeah uh fantasy I, it's definitely fantasy fantasy but like is it vampire historical fantasy maybe i i would yeah that's what i from what i've yeah I, like i'm kind of, just starting yeah. it so, yeah like uh, a heavily kind of like really historic set it's like renaissance spain i want to say right uh, mm -hmm. renaissance is that right spanish like, inquisition time i think yes yes inquisition yeah. that's kind of the setting of it but then there is magical elements i was gonna it. say isn't there it's it's magical like it's i've yeah. i have it too it's, it's next on my list but um i think it's magic like it's really magical yeah really magical of, not i'm like excited to read dragons it. things like that but yeah. where it's like a real setting they can do magic show the inside mm -hmm. krista show the inside it's so beautiful inside you know i have it's the so beautiful right inside oh my and God. it's not vampires because it looks a little vampire it's not vampires. no it's not that's the really interesting okay. thing about this book, I feel like, because I love anything like historical fiction is another favorite genre of mine. Me and too. so it combined yeah. the two in such a way where it was like, I could still picture the setting. It seemed so real. And the fact that they can yeah. just do magic, I was like, of course, of course they can. I, love that. That's I can't stop thinking about it. So my deck pairing is the Terra Volatile. <gasps> because oh, because I just think this makes me even more excited. It holds such a similar, I mean, same vibe. Yeah. 
And I feel like this, the artwork in this could really fit, like you could see it in a museum in Spain kind of thing. And it just- yeah. don't need it, Lisa. Moments. You don't need it. I can see the wheels turning. You <laughs> I don't know. need it. I was thinking about, about that. that. Oh, when I pulled this out, I was like, well, <laughs> every I can time, see the wheels every turning. Time. Every time, yeah. So have you guys read Kind of speaking on the same level because i almost grabbed that one and hearing you talk about it it makes me think of it even more have y'all ever read perfume no there was a movie no. that was also done with gregory peck wait the one that played marquis de sade in the quills that's that that's gregory no yeah gregory peck no gregory rush Shit. anyway um i don't know perfume any of these people that's is set in is set in kind of like that that same kind of time period but the guy has like he has no smell to him this baby that's born but he has a hyper sense of smell and he gets obsessed with kind of perfume making to create the smells that he's after because he can smell things so subtly and there's this creepy vibe to it. Uh, when I saw Familiar, the Familiar, and I started reading a little bit of it, it, it brought me there. Like it made me think of that. And so it's, y'all, it's, it's, it was an obsession, Is that it, book. This one? Yes. Yes. It was translated, <laughs> translated from maybe German. I don't remember. Um, yeah. Huh. So good. Anyway, that that reminded me of that one. I wanted to see if anybody else had read it. Mm -mm -mm. No, but I'm. I just no, put but, it on my list. But I'm, yeah, but now I added it to my list. Yeah, Fine. read it. The list is going to be a problem after this video. I'm just saying. The list is going to be a problem after. Not <laughs> <laughs> your TBR. That's fine. Yeah, the TBR yeah, added. She, you left the space at the bottom of the page, right? Right. Yeah. All right. I picked the Starless Sea. Because I was trying not to pick the same one that Lisa picked. So this is obviously by the author of The Night Circus. Um, this oh. is about, hmm, how to explain this? It's fantasy, and it's about a magical library and an underground world and a mystery. It's really, really good. Um, bees feature very predominantly in this story which is odd. I haven't quite, I, cause I'm not finished. So I haven't quite figured out hundred percent why. Oh. So my pick might eventually be wrong, but for right now I picked the B tarot. Yes. Which is Krista's <laughs> fault. It's Krista made me do it. Okay. I, I love, I love this deck. This deck for me is so multifaceted now. I mean, I use it a lot for my creative work, but when oh, I was pretty. looking at, uh, like, I love that one. Oh, and my I was God. looking was at um, decks, like I'm sure there's lots of other decks that would fit, but like because the B, there's like something to do with the Bs and there's like a mystery around the Bs. So I was like, I'm going to go with the B tarot because I don't, I'm still getting to know this deck. So it's still a little bit of a mystery. So that's, that was my, my reasoning behind that. <laughs> I love that. Good pick. So yeah. Love it. All right. Shall we get started? We really time. All righty. Okay, we're gonna go in order this time, so I don't lose track of numbers. So everybody, right. roll your d twenty. All right, Lisa, what'd you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. Danny. Seven. Seven. Andy. Eleven. Eleven. Marlena. Five. Five. And Krista. Fifteen. 15. All right. Lisa, you are high and you are asking Marlena. So much quicker this Marlena. way. Oh, I'm in the hot seat <laughs> already. Are you rolling okay. your D12? I already did. I rolled it with my D20 just in case. That's <laughs> okay. amazing. Okay. What number did you get? Uh, number two. So okay. Marlena. Yes. What the fuck is up with that book you read more than once? Oh, I love this question because I taught 
books a lot. So <laughs> I, I mean, I was thinking about the books that I that I taught the most. So I had to reread constantly. And I taught middle school language arts for the most period of time. I reread The Outsiders <gasps> the most. I <gasps> love that book and the movie. Ralph Macchio? Um, Never read yes. that. Oh, that's right. Ralph Macchio. <laughs> <laughs> we always bring him up every time. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, well, you know, um, Pony Boy, yeah, and um, and Johnny. Well, he was Johnny, yeah. So I reread that one quite a bit, but that's in my teaching capacity. And so a book that I've reread the most times of my for my myself is um, Sula. I I almost always reread Sula uh, by Toni Morrison every mm -hmm. summer. Um, it's about female friendship and. The, it's one of the most amazing books ever but um yeah so those are my yeah those are my two that's great i could name a bunch Aww. of <laughs> that i taught love it. yeah that's amazing i love that cool, cool. all right all right Dave. are we ready to roll again rolly oh. rollies oh shit all righty lisa you're up What'd you get? 19. 19. High roller. Danny? 13. 13. Andy? Nine. Nine. Marlena? 15. 15. Krista? Two. Two. <laughs> All right. I got an eight. So, Lisa, now you're asking Krista. All righty. Okay. So, I got number seven. Krista? What the fuck is up with your with that character you loved? Oh my gosh, just in general. Yeah. Hard to pick a favorite, eh? That mm -hmm. is hard. It's hard to like remember specifics too. Like all the sometimes books get so mixed in my head. Mm. I think though, a character that I just have loved so much where it's like I've read the books that are out now and I still am like, I wish I could spend time with them is, uh, oh, um, I have that book too, I bought that one too. Encyclopedia of Fairies, Emily Wilde, the main character in that book. And I think it's just because I can identify with her so much. Like she's a little bit like, her people skills are like, they're there, but like, it's not a hundred percent. Like, you know, she's not getting it, but she can do it. <laughs> yeah. And just like, I love that. gets so fixated on something and like, She's got this, her, I don't want to spoil anything, but her uh, <laughs> scholarly partner, I guess I'll say, is mm -hmm. really Is that a euphemism, Krista? <laughs> <laughs> scholarly <laughs> partner. partner. I don't know. I love <laughs> it. He's not with you. Spoil books. Like, I'm so bad at describing them because I'm just going to be like, I actually, know. here's the whole story. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but... He's very charismatic and really such a people person. So when they work together, it's this perfect combo of she gets so invested and he's there to like pull her out of it to be like, okay, but like we do have to make friends with those people. And that just describes me and my fiance, Paul, to a T. Mm -hmm. He has to be there Aww. to be like, we do actually have to see the outside. It's <laughs> just so <laughs> Yeah. And so just that duo too, it's like I think about them when – I'm not reading those books. And there's a third That's one coming amazing. out. I can't wait. I love that. Aww. That's great. I love that. That says a lot when you're still thinking about it afterwards. Yeah. That says a lot. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Great answer. Oh and that was the Encyclopedia goodness. of Fairies. Is that just a same yeah. standalone book? No, there's um, two out now. It's Emily. It's the Emily Wilde. No, we're... we're as soon as Dawn posts this, I'm gonna go back and write down all these books. I'll try yeah. to put them. I'll try so to put them all in the description, like well, unless it gets like forget, ridiculously would, long. But yeah, because if not, I'll just rewatch it. Because I do, I'll just put it on yeah. and I'll listen to us in the background. <laughs> I feel like yeah, none yeah. of mine are going to be any new fiction. It's like everything old and like that you read. Yeah, in the right. It's just very classic. Classic is it. good. Classic, classic is literature. Have a mix. Literature. Yeah. Literature. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Right. Rolling. Oh, I've got a roll. Okay. 
I'm not as attached right. to dice as some people here, so I forget about them. We, we love our dice. <laughs> right. Lisa, what'd you get? 12. 12. Danny? 14. 14. Andy? 10. 10. Marlena? I also got 14. That's three oh, 14s. Really? Krista, what'd you get? What? 16. 16. Okay. So Krista oh. is high and you are, wow, we all rolled high. Okay. Krista, you're asking Andy. Okay. So I rolled my D12 and got eight, which, eight. yeah, we haven't done that. Andy, what the fuck is that? We can redo them too. Favorite author. <laughs> I, I don't know about favorite author, but when I was thinking of like authors that I have followed for a long time and that I really like, I landed on Maeve Dinchy because she's like oh, my Hallmark God. channel kind of mm -hmm. comfort, I suppose. I haven't read her for a long time, but just her books really are really the Hallmark channel in print, oh, you know, and it's like, it just, it's, it's so wholesome and whatever is happening like outside you can go into that world and just kind of what's the one people would the... know what's the one people would know the best the circle of friends probably yeah i mean she had a movie so many books in there um what did she say sorry i'm interrupting you i'm bad at that um no, you're okay. circle of friends because they made a movie they made a right movie. yeah yeah, and I don't really have a favorite. They all kind of sit in quite a similar place. And for me, when I've seen the kind of the movies that have been made, they kind of don't seem like the same thing. To me, the read is like a completely different experience. But um, yeah, so I think that she would be like my favorite where she's like so reliable and just kind of like an old, an old friend. Yeah, yeah. You know? I love that. Aw, that's great. That's an love awesome it. pick. I love hearing about these books. It's making me really happy. Oh. <laughs> and these authors and stuff. I'm like, oh, oh. I love those kind of crazy books. I feel like books. I'm going to rewatch Circle of Friends tonight. I think that's, <laughs> it's raining, so we're not going to the pool. All righty. Everybody roll. Lisa? What do you Six. Six. Danny? 18. 18. Andy? Dang. 19. 19. Marlena? <laughs> Two. 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 <laughs> Krista? 16. 16. Okay. Uh, Andy, you are high. Marlena, you and I both rolled a two. So we're going to roll these for low. Okay. Roll these for low. Rollies. I got a 17, so I'm probably not low. I got an 18, Don. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prove me fucking wrong. I love it. <laughs> Only because you said that. It's really Only because I know it. The minute it was out of my mouth, right? I was destined. Oh my God. <laughs> right. So, so I get to a question? No, that we were rolling for low. So oh, Andy's asking, asking me. me. No, what I was lower than you. That? Yeah, yeah, low asking oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. What the fuck is up with that book that you didn't finish? And you have to say a different one than the ninth house. Was that the or the, the no? Which one did you finish? The you said recently oh, I, that you didn't finish I finished one. The 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 the, the smut book, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I did finish. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you know what I discovered um, after saying that I really liked Neon Gods? Is I didn't finish it. I never finished it. Oh, you never. Finished <laughs> it. Like, what happened? I like I never finished it, and then I started a different book in the same genre and went back to it and I was like, oh no. Like and it's suddenly like not good anymore. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Well, sometimes you need yeah. a comparison to know though. Yeah. Right. And when you're read like I'm gonna interrupt my own question here, but when you're reading different but, books and like some of them are really well written and the others are like, I mean, yeah. fine, it's meant to be trash, but like I shouldn't say that. Yeah. It's probably not meant to be trash. <laughs> Has anybody read the Persephone's and Hades one? Yes. Patch of darkness. Yes. I love anything Persephone. I'm having okay. I'm having a really hard time because it's sitting in the fucking neon god space for me, and oh, I'm like, it's, oh, it's, no. it's, it's, it's like, not no. okay. Is it gonna get better? Bardugo, right? Because after I read um, this book, I had so much trouble getting into books like that because I was like, but yeah, I, just, I, I think you know? that's my problem. Like, I went from Hellbent to Neon Gods. 
Yeah. That was a bad deal. <laughs> then yeah. I've, I'm reading Starless Sea and then was trying to read A Touch of Darkness uh, mm-hmm. like at the same time, basically. And I was like, this is trash. Oh, I can't no. read it right now. It's hard to read it besides <laughs> something else that you really like the writing of, though. Yeah. yeah that I, is think it's really, I think it's just the writing. Yeah. yeah, it's and like, I just yeah. What I really what I really didn't like, it wasn't the, the puppies is like the part, what really I've discovered I do not like is like, we are, we do not have to discuss contraception in a, in a smut book. No, we're, we we're do not. Really not it's implied. That. Oh, it no. is implied. I don't need it. it. It just doesn't need to be done. Like what? I, <laughs> so I, just I, just by myself. Really I don't like that. Either. I think, yeah, in that whole series, the Neon Gods, that whole series, they just want to be really clear about consent. <laughs> consent, like, yeah. Consent safe sex. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I'm like, I want I want books with warnings, not consent. That can be done in a consent. sexy way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That can be done in a sexy way. I read a book where it was done in a very, very, oh. very good way. But, like, okay. yeah. I think there's ways. I feel, to... like, I feel like it's also, like, your target audience. Because, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like over 40 is the target audience for Neon Gods. No. You're talking to to like right. a much younger audience where yeah. okay, you, maybe you are, you know, you haven't been with the same partner for you know I, half, half your dabbling, life. And, you know? <laughs> well, I've been dabbling in that like retelling of Greek mythology genre. So like I read Neon Gods and then I read Ariadne, Clytemnestra, and like I've been doing like all like the rounds of all these different authors. Mm-hmm. There is a big divide, I think, you know, some of them like being smut, some of them being more mm-hmm. like I don't know. I don't know what it's trying to do, but <laughs> it's not like it's not like you know literature or academia. It feels like no, more like, 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 like I would say it's raunchy yeah. rather than smart. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't feel like yeah. Neon Gods is smart. It's just kind it's of really raunchy. not. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that was also there, like. that was also part of my disappointment because I went into it with the understanding I'm reading smut and yeah. 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 yeah, when it That's doesn't deliver, not... I'm like that with like, this is the scariest book I've ever read, or this yeah. is the most depraved thing I've ever read. And I get in there and I'm like, oh, Danny, <laughs> your yeah. line though is uh, has been moved a bit you're, over time. Your line in the like. sand is yeah. very far. Away. Very far. <laughs> very, like, like people hyped up Tinder is the flesh. And y'all, I was gung ho. I was like, boom, I'm ready for something like this. And I read it and it was amazing um, but it was sh- not shocking at yeah. all i didn't find it at all shocking taboo crazy hard like yeah it was kind of mundane it was just getting your mindset in that type of world mm. so i was like i don't know like i'm always i'm always a little like Oof, when mm. when there's a hype around something grain of salt be wary of the claims be wary of the claims you know, for sure we, y'all I talking like, about like I want to be in that same area, like trying to find new books, and yeah. you know, you read one and then you read another. I literally, my yeah. brother called me yesterday. I'm sitting on my sofa. I get the "Hey" text, which annoys me. Like, just talk. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you know? I don't need to answer you. I love my brother. My child does the same thing. I'm like, they are one. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, he was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm just eating breakfast." You know, whatever. He's like. Immediate phone call. Hello. <laughs> hey, I just finished reading The Whisper Man. Okay. Ooh. So I, I, I added that to my list. So he's like, I just finished reading The Whisper Man. I need another serial killer book. He was like, uh, uh, I, I want to read something in that same that same feel, you know, like the same whatever. So I like pop open Goodreads. I'm like, what have I read that's similar to this? Like <laughs> going through, nice. but it's true. When it, it's, I'm one of those people who like no. once I find a little niche that I'm I'm really comfy in, I want to yeah, I want to feel that way. Yeah. And yeah. like it's yeah. true, you really do find the good, the bad, and the ugly when you're searching for a vibe. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right. So the book right. I DNF'd is actually, and maybe it's like, it's not a DNF forever, but it's actually the one Krista mentioned. And I think we had a, I think we had a YouTube conversation about this, a YouTube comment conversation. It's the Emily Wilde book because I was like, I just I did that too. 
I couldn't. Yeah. You were talking about it in a video where you started mm -hmm. it, you put it away and you came back to it. And I'm like, okay, so maybe this fall I'll come back to it. But right now it's the, the last, the last book or the most recent book that I DNF'd. And it's not like, I still have it. It's on my shelf because after we chatted, I was like, all right, maybe I'll just try it later. Cause maybe it's just not a time and place for me right yeah. now. There so. can be moods for sure. Oh yeah. yeah for and sure. I think too, not giving spoilers, but like I said, of the scholarly partner, mm -hmm. <laughs> wait till he get, give it until he, he gets, he gets there. Even more that's dirty. what happened for me the first time. I read like the first few chapters. He's not there yet. And it's because you're in her, just her lens, which is very yeah. dry and focused. Cause that's yes. who he is. So yeah. then, yeah, that's all I'll say. Okay. Yeah, I've got it saved. I've got it saved. Partner, I'm thinking of like a card with the archetype of the scholarly partner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. That's amazing. All right, shall we rollies? Rollies, rollies. 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 All right, Lisa, what'd you get? What'd you? You got a what? Nine. 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 What'd you get, Danny? I got a fifteen. 15. Andy? Four. Four. Marlena? 13. 13. And Krista? 19. 19. Oh, wow. This is this so much faster this way when I'm fucking organized. <laughs> All right. Krista, you are asking Andy. Okay. Let's see. I got three. three. What the fuck is up with the worst book you've ever read? Oh, I would love to tell you about this. <laughs> I love I the answer. The worst book I read, like recently, I'm sure there were others, is the book called Fake Accounts. And so, if you read the summary of the book, it tells you that it is about a girl who finds, like, looks on her boyfriend's phone, and he has an an Instagram account that is all about um, fake uh, or like all about conspiracy theories, particularly around um, the election. Um, mm -hmm. and so she doesn't like see him as that person and she thinks he's hiding stuff. She goes like deep into it. We never mm -hmm. really find out anything about that. She goes to Berlin. She's like a complete narcissist. The entire book it talks about how mm -hmm. horrible her life is and all of this. And we never really go back to the boyfriend. Well, I need to, the name what? of the one. <laughs> Make it counts. Fake accounts, fake and account. we never go into the account. We don't even into the fake like account. Kind of like our, that's that's like a side subject. The book is really just about her, and her like <laughs> online dating, and she just like she's so messed up. Like every date she goes on, everybody's like running a mile from her. It's just the most weird. <laughs> you got all the way to the end. Time. Did you finish it? Yeah. I yeah. finish everything. I start so. Oh. I don't. That is. I don't have that. Really torture. Yes, I did finish it, and I just wanted to and throw it, it across the room. It's, oh, just never got back to the it's not even about that. that. Make me not even about so that. Mad. I ended the book hating her for wasting my time and being just really mad. And in fairness, like the recommendation of the book, they they said it was like trash. I think, and I was like, nah. This sounds cool. Uh, I'll give it a chance. <laughs> I don't know. I'll give it a try. That sounds like some shit I do. Somebody's like, this is yeah. the worst book. And I'm like, oh, I got to read it now. Because now I'm like, like, oh, no. Why are you saying it's so bad? Yeah. Terrible. Terrible, yeah. terrible. Yeah. I've yeah. never given anything one star on Goodreads. I did it with pleasure. I was like, please, <laughs> let me no say you. That was just yeah. half of you. <laughs> So the well, title was a marketing right ploy then. The title, just like yeah, all of yeah. the titles yeah. in the Neon God yeah, series, like, by the way, is yeah. totally marketing. As is the covers. Like, yeah. 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 And the yeah. cover looks kind of cool too. Like, I, mm -hmm. oh, it just made me so mad. What a waste of time. Oh. I mean, oh sometimes God. trash is good. Like, it's like those decks, Krista, that we love. They're, they're like bad good. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, yeah, those ones. <laughs> I now have that all of them. I do too. As <laughs> yeah. <this morning. laughs> I've been yeah. on a kick lately too to think about like how the title of the tarot, if it really lives up to its name. I loved when you we were doing that that bit. Mm -hmm. that, I was, 
I love that. It made me want to look at my decks and say, like, are you actually doing like, what are you said that you were going to do? Yeah. yeah. Are you doing some of them yeah. make some pretty big claims that I feel like we read that and we're like, oh, yeah, whatever. And then it's like, but don't say it if it's not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Thank I complained about that. When I got that deck that was supposed to be like body positive, mm -hmm. ah. all the things, and it was all pretty boys in underwear. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I right. I remember that. Yeah. I was like, um, I would have bought sorry. pretty boys in underwear deck though if they had titled it that. Wait, why don't I have this deck, Danny? Why don't I have this deck, pretty boys in because underwear? Listen, because <laughs> you wouldn't know. Even the, even the the um, God, I wish I could remember the name. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. But yeah. even the 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 box of the deck is the misrepresentation. It's the only yeah. bigger person in the yeah. entire deck. Not cool. I remember that. I remember that. I was so mad. Yeah. That was an mm -hmm. epic yeah. spicy Danny rant in Glide, if I recall correctly. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> was oh, yeah. Good. I was like, that, that, yep. that, that, that. <laughs> yep. False oh advertising. God, fantastic. False advertising. Yep. Yeah. Be careful with that marketing, right. man. <laughs> yep. All right. Are we roly rollies? Rolling, rolling. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Lisa? Five. Five. Danny? Five. Five. Oh. Andy? One. Oh, one. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Doesn't something happen on so, a one? Yeah, yes. you get to draw a card for everybody and give them a reading. So then we'll just, Marlon, what's yours? And then we'll go next, highest uh, and nine. This roll. Nine. And Krista? 12. 12. So do Danny and okay. I re-roll our fives? You and Danny re-roll your fives, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going for lowest? For lowest. I, I rolled a two. I rolled a 12. <laughs> okay. So two and okay. 12. Okay, so first, All right. you wanna, Andy, do you want to pull cards? Sure. So it's got to be a real quick one. reading because it's what, five, five cards? Yeah, just a reading for, for everybody. Our, for each one card for each person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless that feels like too much, then you can just pull like I don't know three cards for the moment. No, Whatever okay. feels right. Okay, Whatever ready? Right. Yep. One okay, tight. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Dawn, you got the Empress. Oh, and this is kind of an interesting one because the heart. Oh, where am I? The heart is below the tree. Oh, mm -hmm. Pretty. So that card. Beautiful. Interesting. So really like like grounding into your heart space today. Perhaps. With and all my favorite people. Really, I mean yeah, it. Yeah, it like, yeah, like really, I feel like as a reading, like really finding your like roots here, like within your emotional space in a, you know, but it feels like in a very earthy way rather than like a like a watery way, mm -hmm. which is cool. That's All fitting. Right. That's fitting. Lisa. Mm -hmm. You got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, and immediately Ooh. this part reminded me of a book that will come up because I'm reading, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Hold on. Stalked by the Kraken. So this kind of reminded Ooh. me of him. And he's <laughs> yeah, like, I feel right. like, I feel like even though if this is like the Eight of Cups, this feels like connection to me. And just like maybe wanting to be closer to people than you're like maybe able to at the moment. Like mm. Too many cups. Too many cups, but you're That's trying to keep hold of them all, you know? Yo. Too many cups, Lisa. <laughs> Too many cups. There's a lot of cups in there right okay. now. There's a lot of cups so, right now. Danny, Danny, like kind of similar energy in a way with this five of cups in like a bit of a balancing act in trying yeah. to keep mm -hmm. all your kind of, I feel like the cops are like people, you know, trying to keep all your close emotional relationships balanced and, you know, and looking good, especially it looks like they're balanced on like water, maybe that's precarious. So maybe a little more solid footing than a, you know, fish pond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Marlena. Uh, we got our daughter of swords. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be our page of swords. So 
in in the head today, maybe maybe doing you know contemplation, thinking. I mean, this is kind of representational of you, I think, generally. So I think you're in your like your good Thank space you, today, like getting your yeah, yeah getting your think on. <laughs> All right. So we got the uh, Queen of Cups for you, Krista. So you're, I feel like oh, emotionally so today, you seem quite fulfilled. Your cup is getting filled up today. Oh, okay. That's amazing. <laughs> that I love great, you, Andy. Andy. <laughs> That's That's best I vote for I this found it. forever. Oh, you found the deck. I found, I found the deck. I literally called the video Hot Guys in Hot Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I the divine, I remember seeing that one. I the divine, that yeah, I saw it. divine diversity tarot. Divine, oh, divine yeah. diversity. Tarot. Divine, divine diversity. diversity. Hot oh, guys and hot fuck off you, with that. It, it's it's diverse in hot no. guys. And I really don't know how much they things. sold. Maybe hot it's guys and hot pants would have been more. It would have totally <laughs> sold better, probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have bought it. Hot guys. Yes, and I would have bought it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's still yeah. worth a look because I honestly think that it would maybe make an Asterian good deck because it's not body positive. They they all look kind of like they got the they got his body. They do have. We his just body. need a deck with all Astarian in it is what we need. We I need mean, I can make that happen. In my memory, that can do it. Like that deck will do it. Like. it. If I will do it. Somebody I will totally make us. <laughs> oh, you can use someone. My deck. I mean, it, twist my it. arm, okay? Like seriously, twist my arm we to make need a BG3 of deck. beautiful boyfriend. Just and I'm yeah. sure you guys have a plethora of screenshot ability. I can use screenshots. <laughs> oh shit! <Yes. laughs> you can literally <laughs> set it all up. You can set it all up. We did yeah. spend three hours kissing everybody. So okay, so <laughs> spend three hours setting up pictures. So that's we could totally set tomorrow. up the RWS I in PG three. Oh okay, we are. Gonna have to, I'm gonna make a note. <laughs> we have to that's do a project. That now. Make a note okay, for we gotta that. Dice divination first. We have to finish dice divination. We do first. have to do finish dice divination. <laughs> then we're gonna do BG three tarot. Yep, tarot screenshots. With screenshots. With screenshots. With screenshots. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Make sure well, that it's clear in the title what the people are getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they pick the right title. Okay. Well, like, technically, okay. I don't think I would be able to, like, sell it or anything. No, but, but, you, you know, know maybe friends, little personal project, some yeah. friends. With, you just know. for us. Just, just, all just of us. for us, wink, wink. Just for all of us. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Okay, that okay. can totally happen. Totally. All right. Okay, so we're back. Wait, we're back. Um, Christy, oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. high. Oh, I literally yeah, rolled again. I forgot we were here. No, <laughs> I came in low. I came in low. This okay. is this is why this is why I wrote it down. Uh, yes, you did come in low. So, Christy, yeah. you're asking Lisa. Okay. So I rolled number six. What the fuck is up with that main character you didn't like? I I thought about these questions before we started, so that I'd be prepared. That's Otherwise, so you'd be staring at me thinking for, for a long you, time. I didn't. Um, so I totally did. <laughs> so the only one I could think of, and it's it's contradictory because I really I've read the books multiple times, and I actually like the story, but it's Bella Swan. I am oh. not the biggest fan ever of Bella Swan. Yeah. Bella Swan Amazing. is Absolutely. problematic on like multiple levels. Like the the fact that she falls apart the way that she does, the fact that she's so <laughs> intensely codependent. But like, I mean, I love the story. I love the like, I love the love of it. But like, I don't love the dynamics of it. If that makes sense, and the, yeah. what she brings to the dynamic. By the third book, I screamed at her so much that I stopped reading them. Yeah, it's 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 hard. And I I actually read um break what's it called? Twilight not is it not Twilight, obviously Twilight, but like the the one that that is from Edward's flip perspective flopped. of the first book, mm -hmm. the flip-flopped. I read that it was very difficult to read because it was just so obnoxious 
to read it from his perspective, it was worse than reading it from Bella's. Like it was, it was way worse. His perspective um, of her. That I think I like dislike that more. Like how his perspective of her is worse than my take on her. As I, was bad. It was really bad. I was like, oh God, could this get worse? But like, I still, I still love them. I still watch the movies. Oh, me too. I, I, I like the yes. story, but I just. And, and Bella shows up also, of course, in a different form in Fifty Shades. And there's many problems right, I have with Fifty yeah, Shades. Yeah. But uh, that main character energy is not it for me. It's it's not it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the vibe. She's like, she's the one, the the thing that like I want to share to every young girl. Don't be this. Don't, don't, don't be, be a Bella. Yes. Do she not be this. This is the girl. exact opposite of what you should be. Because she gives up all of her autonomy to everything. A man. 100%. Like when yeah, she jumps off that. the cliff and then she's doing all this mm -hmm. crazy shit and i'm like yeah well was my was later yeah. that there was a very specific like agenda by the author in there the was movie. yeah oh there was obviously yeah. there's that but, layer too yeah. i mean yeah. i was yeah. reading stuff like that the, or that that seems so like pure well, i guess pure whatever than what i was reading when i was a teenager i was reading bc andrews yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, i was reading right. stephen king Andrews. i was yeah. like <laughs> stephen king dean coons yeah, yeah those were the vibes those are the vibes yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but yeah bella's a no that's, 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 a, that's a, good a really good pick for that i was a good pick for yeah. watch the end of breaking dawn too like Every now and again, I'm just like, let's watch the battle scene. <laughs> and <my daughter laughs> and watch it. We re and like watch everybody, like the wolves and the whole yeah. thing. Like, we'll re -watch I've it. never watched any of the movies. You have no, I, oh, oh, I watched it multiple times, but yeah. I've read I mean, the I first two books and part of the third one, and that's when I clipped it and, and I have it. out. You're like, nah, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, she's not a great heroine at all. No, she and she never really not. finds her power either. Like a lot of no, the stories, like by the end, they find I their was power. Waiting she didn't for really find her power. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, mm -mm. I think no, it was after. I was about to say, was it the same time? But no, um, Hunger Games was after. And yeah. I'm like, this is who I want to see. She was still a little annoying in places, but like mm -hmm. Katniss was what I wanted to see in yeah. Katniss. Marvel. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and some Bella. of that fire. Like fight, you can still be, yeah. like you can still be right here because Katniss was like it was a block, but like she was still powerful in her own way. You know yeah. what I mean? Like she was yeah. still really intense, and like that's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. I wonder yes. if it represents the time it came out though, too. Like I was thinking about some mm -hmm. of the music they came out with, like with Britney Spears, and like you know, like we're we're girls of that age, like felt like they were like, oh, I'm, you know, help me, you know, or like, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Yeah. Just a girl. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. yeah. Especially that it's Britney good. Spears area. It, it's it, good it, we all grew out of that. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yep. All righty. Are we rollies again? Let's roll it. Eggs rollies. Oh. I was afraid my dog was going to start barking. Okay. All right. Lisa? Uh, 15. 15. Danny? Four. Four. Andy? Four. Five. Five. Marlena? 18. 18. Krista? 19. 19. All right. Krista, <laughs> a dice does love you. Yeah. Krista, you were asking Danny. Okay. <laughs> So I got number 10. 10. So what the fuck is up with your TBR list? Ooh, Lord. She long, what girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, Give right. us some good titles. <laughs> okay, so right now I have, like, I'm one of those people who, like, when I'm in the zone, I like to gather. I'm like a little squirrel. I like I to do. gather all the things and then mm -hmm. have a little while, you know? A so, little book goblin. A book goblin, yeah. exactly, book goblin. exactly. So yeah. I have in my TBR right now, I have the familiar that's up next mm -hmm. um, because I'm reading House of Leaves right now, but I think this is going to take me a hot minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard of that one. Have you ever seen this one? Oh, well, that's, that's, one that's a whole experience. But the thing is, is it's a book about a manuscript that someone finds yes. and then publishes and it's full of footnotes. Mm -hmm. So you are reading the manuscript 
and you have oh, all the awesome. notes about the manuscript as you go along. And so it's very interesting. So I am in the middle of this wow. one, but like, I'm, I'm just starting. So it, it yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But on my TBR, I do have the familiar. I do have the Whisper Man because my brother was like, you got to read it. Um, <laughs> so I have that on there. Um, I also have, hold on, let me pull up my um, my Kindle thing real quick because I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the give us the dirt. <laughs> this is like thinking right. somebody's closet. This is my favorite question on the list. <laughs> like, oh my God. I want to know. Okay, where's my library? Okay. So um I do have another one that I am reading, but I haven't finished reading yet. So it's still on the TBR, I guess. Uh the to be devoured, but I'm like 80 something percent done with that. Okay, so I have Wakenhurst by Michelle Paver. So um one of one of my um my friends Molly uh, always sends me really great recommendations. And so that was one of her newest ones. So I'm like super jazzed about that. So I have that on there. Um, what else do I have? Bah, 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 bah. I was thinking about, oh, I have The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. Oh. Highly becoming one of my favorite authors of all time. I, me too. Now too. I love <laughs> What's the T. King Fisher book everybody's been talking about? Natalie Bone. Natalie Bone. Oh, that one was so, so freaking one. good. I mean, it was a standalone love. or was it a series? Natalie Bone Nettle is by itself. I need more standalones on my list because I keep getting sucked into series and they take me like eight thousand years to finish. So now T. Yeah. King Fisher has okay. what moves the dead and what feasts at night. Those two, uh, which were really good because the first one is based on Edgar Allan Poe. I mean, um. Yeah, the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do I have on here? I have. Hold on. I have to oh, get these. I just added some really good ones. So I should have gathered this list beforehand. Give us, give us, give us a dirty pick. Give us a dirty pick. A Ooh, dirty pick. Let me see what I got. I don't it's know if I have any smutty ones on my list right now. Let me see. I'm so disappointed. I know, right? I'm disappointed in myself. Talk to the That's my recommendation. Oh my God, where the hell are my list? Books. There we go. Okay. I have. Uh, oh, what is dark within me? That might be smutty. That looks. <laughs> might be. It looks so <laughs> one. Um, I mean, it sounds it. I mean, it does. Okay. <laughs> this title thing, like, I'm, <laughs> my mind it. went so bad. Uh, the Stillwater Girls <laughs> I have on there. Between Two Fires. Um, what else do I have? I already read What Feast at Night. Um, let's titles see. Are great. I mm -hmm. have The Perfect Child, Village Heresy, Exquisite Corpse, which might be my next one that I might snatch. Uh, exquisite course. And these are all yeah, like in the horror, horror. Not all of them. Okay. I'm a, I, I'm a jumble up, but the ones that I'm getting in right now are the horror horror. There's one called Stop Crying, The Things He Heard, We Can Never Leave This Place, <laughs> Sorry. Dirty oh, Heads, <laughs> Crossroads. So we can never leave. Oh, and Brother. Brother, I actually have, I, I, I actually have physically. Yeah, I have brother, uh, and I have started it, and it is really good. But I had to put it aside because this one's going to take up all my brain power. But yeah, yeah, so I always have a bunch of a bunch of crapses ready to go, ready to go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Best question. Okay. All right. I'll roll again. Rolling again. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've rolled a nat twenty. <gasps> Ooh, I rolled a nat one. Okay. You rolled a nat one. All right. Are you so serious? What did, what did everybody no. else get? Danny, what'd you get? Yeah, I got a 15. 15. Lisa, you, you you legit got a one. I did, yeah. That's amazing. All right, Andy. Uh, what'd 15. you get? 15. Marlena, what'd you get? Three. Three. Krista, what'd you get? I got 19 again. 19 again. That <laughs> okay. is a roll. Loaded dice. That's a <laughs> <laughs> <You're dying. laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Keep track of that, Krista. So, that will, that's a good one for gaming. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Um, do you want to like, I will pick somebody to read a passage from the book they bought and then I'll, then maybe while they're looking for the passage, you want to do your quick readings, Lisa? Sure. Yeah. That's a great That'll way to do it. Yeah. Whoever. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm gonna roll to see who's gonna read. Gonna say, I love I'm it. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll a d6, and I'm one. So if I get one, then then it'll be I roll. Okay, I got three. One, two, three. That's Danny. Oh, that's me. Okay. Yes. So since I don't so, have Swiftwit, but I do have House of Leaves. Perfect. Oh. You can read us a passage. Yeah, we'll find a, a quick passage. We're all yeah. We're all curious okay. about that book anyway. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then while you're looking, right. Lisa, you can do our quick readings. Perfect. Okay, Dawn, you got Five of Swords. I think this is interesting because it can be about recognizing where uh, maybe the desire to take a quick, quicker path or a shortcut could actually create a bigger mess for you than if you just. Are like, you talking about my book like... proposal? Are you talking <laughs> about my book proposal? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't pick just the card, saying. man. <laughs> <laughs> very All right, Miss Danny, you got Ace of Wands. There's um, a need right now to connect in more to that, like that really raw creative power. Like the the less structured, the messier, the more flu. Like I'm gonna say fluid, but it's fire. So you know, appropriate adjective. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, yeah, tap more into that, more into that like raw, untamed energy for sure. Get 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 in there. Yep. Amazing. All right, Andy, two of cups. Recognizing, I think, especially in your closer relationships where there things are in harmony and things are like really working well and also where minor adjustments might need to be made so that there's not an over give or an over receive, but actually things are kind of like on that even level. So where tiny little like micro adjustments might need to be made in those close relationships. All right. Okay. Me. I don't know what I did with the order here, but I, it made sense in my brain. No, you're All right, fine. Marlena, you're going. nine of cups. This legit, every time I see this, Dawn looks like Dorian to me. Every time. It it it, it, it is it kind of does look like Dorian, but it's actually uh from Gilmore Gil no, what's his name? Gilmore's Glorious Goods, which is another campaign. Oh, but it is? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know who that is. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh anyway, so Marlena, lots of like recognizing that your sense of personal contentment and satisfaction is coming from within. It's not necessarily something that's being handed to you, but something you're learning to sort of turn inside and like tap into as opposed to something you're seeking from an external source. So like some shifts there maybe lately. Oh, <laughs> All right, Krista, <laughs> King of Swords. Really interesting because I think sometimes this is about when I think of the King of Swords, I think of somebody who's able to sort of zoom out and look at the big picture and think of um, the moving parts and sort of instead of being super honed in on the details, sometimes missing the trees for the forest. Am I saying this right? Am I the saying forest this? For the, okay. the, the, the forest, forest for the trees? The forest for the trees. Yeah, but what I'm thinking is sometimes it can feel like um, you're maybe overlooking details or you're, you're being scattered. Oh, but what you're actually doing is looking at the big picture and looking at the moving parts. And actually that can be a superpower and not something that is actually a, an interference or an obstacle. So sometimes mm -hmm. seeing how, uh, taking a different perspective that maybe feels inconvenient in the moment can actually be a benefit. If you look at it, if you shift how you're looking at it. Yeah. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm putting my two together in my head too because it was Page of Swords and Nine of Cups. So I'm like, oh. nice. Yeah. <laughs> how do they how do they tie in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Wait, are these intentionally are you... supposed to be sometimes critical role references? So it is Abs meant to be. They, yeah, they're absolutely. The Ten of Cups is Percy and. Go look at your Ten of Cups. You, you just watch. Right you just watch Vox Machina, right? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go look at your ten of cups. Of... Okay. Now look at it. Percy's boyfriend. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. See? Oh, my God. Oh, that's amazing. So you'll see it with a totally Aww. different lens now. Yes. Oh, uh, are there other ones in here that I need? I wish you yeah, told us. There's, there's like, several. Like, is this who I, is this, is this who I think it is? Maybe? Um, I think 
It might be. Some of them I can't remember. Like, they're not direct because, of course, copyright, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, inspired There's by. There's definite influences from several Critical Role campaigns in, in that deck. Love it. Yeah, because that could be, what's his name? Scanlan. <laughs> yeah. Creepy Scanlan. little Scanlan. I'm not really, I don't, I'm not remembering their hilarious. names as well because that was so quick, whereas I could totally mm. remember just about anybody from the current campaign because I'm so invested yeah. in, I need to watch that's, Watch Machina, like the actual episodes at some point. The actual campaign, but, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Miss Danny, it's how'd you do? Find a, find a passage? I just found one? a good passage for it. Perfect. All right. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, story time. Yeah. Love it. All right. I get a glass of water and I walk out into the hallway. That's a mistake. I should have stayed near people, the comfort of company and all that. Instead, I'm alone, running through a quick middle checklist. Food poisoning, stomach's fine. Withdrawals, haven't been on a GAC or ecstasy diet for several months. And while I don't smoke any pot this morning, my usual ritual, I know THC doesn't create any lasting physical dependencies. And then out of the bee fucking loo, everything gets substantially darker. Not pitch black, mind you. Not even power failure black. More like a cloud passing over the sun. Make that a storm. Though there is no storm. No clouds. It's a bright day. And anyway, I'm inside. Wow. Whoa. I'm going to leave it out there. No, mommy, five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was really good. So we have some Dang. ominous things going on. That was it's, so it's good. good. Ooh, I'm going to add that to that book. book. Super intrigued. Yeah, oh, so I can't wait to really too. get into like the nitty gritty, and it's like so mm -hmm. crazy because like I, with a brain like mine, I'm like, okay, footnote. Well, I have to finish reading the footnote before I go back, and then I got to get. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it does, and and they've warned. Like I've seen a lot of people. They're like, this is a slow burn. It slightly yes. drives you crazy, but it's after you're done that it comes back. So I'm really curious because mm -hmm. already I feel like I'm kind of going a little nuts trying to figure out what's going on. That's the idea. So, yeah. That's so exciting. Great. Do you think That's this so would cool. be a good one to have the audiobook and the physical book? You know, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. I might have to look and see if there is an audiobook because there are some of the pieces that are just like, I wish I could just like listen or read on like two times the speed. I'm like, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. oh, yeah. You know, so maybe right. so. But I think it would be really hard because there are full pages of just like X's. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, I don't know how they would do. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but like, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it would though. I've been, I, I told you guys that I've been, did I tell you guys this, that I do audio, I get the audio book and I get like an ebook version and the physical copy. And so it keeps me going. So with my commute to work and whenever I have like downtime in between like meetings and things where I have like a few minutes, but I can't really do anything at the job. So mm -hmm. like I'm waiting for somebody to come in anyway, and then I'll read the ebook and then I read my physical book like on a Sunday at home when I have time Aww, so great. I get through books, you know, that I want to mm -hmm. read. So Mm -hmm. I've been doing a similar cool. thing. So I've been finding I'm struggling with um, books that are a lot of conversations between mm -hmm. two people and listening to it is so much Better. easier to kind of push mm -hmm. through. Yeah. Those you know what to go with that? I, I listen to uh, the His Dark Materials, like the Golden Compass mm -hmm. and all that. Me too, yeah. That audio book was really good because everyone has a different voice. Like they're voiced by yeah. characters, which That's was, helpful. at first I wasn't yeah. sure. But I ended up really loving it. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's one watching of the best. Somebody, somebody on um, YouTube was saying that they had were, couldn't listen to certain books on audio where, the, where it was like a killer. You looking for the killer? Because you read one that had like five different people and they all had different accents. And the killer had a voice earlier in the book and the accent was the same. So you knew who the killer was in the first chapter. Oh. oh. <laughs> Interesting. I can't do that. <laughs> that would be a thing. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Like, that's their voice. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I gotta be careful with that. 
Mm-hmm. That's hey. funny. I didn't really think about that. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So back to oh. our role. Krista, you were high and Marlena, oh, you yeah. were low. Oh, so I forgot. <laughs> Me too. So you right alone. alone. I'm trying to keep it moving along, Lisa. Mm-hmm. Keep it moving along for you. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> we got lots of time. We're I good. don't remember which question I rolled. Mm-hmm. Roll great. Okay. What the fuck is up with that book you're currently reading? Oh, oh yay. I'm currently reading. Um, I'm currently reading The Parable of the of the Sower. So more Ooh. Octavia Butler. I, I gotta love her. I gotta cover this because it's got my mm-hmm. I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> no. I always forget about that. Yeah. Like, oh, so, <laughs> the parable of the sower, Octavia Butler, a really under, like I guess under underrepresented um fantasy sci-fi fantasy uh mm-hmm. author the parable of the so i love a dystopian future uh mm-hmm. novel and this one is actually it's a dystopian future but it's set starting in 2024 so it begins mm-hmm. in july of 2024 so i started mm-hmm. it this month in june but i'm gonna mm-hmm. buddy i'm buddy reading it with some other <laughs> folks um, but it's about a like a dystopian future where I guess the environment, like climate change or whatever, but it's not really mm-hmm. stated that it's climate change that ma- has made things happen. Um, it's really, it's it's very intense. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot that happens to the main character, but it's a badass um, female main character. And you're following her and it's written almost like a kind of like a diary with like date stamps, but essentially, essentially she, she like leaves this little, like her family that's kind of like things have gotten bad in the world, but not so bad that it's like Mad Max kind of bad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. headed in that direction. So she is like planning to leave this little, like, I don't know, you guys seen the walking dead, you know, like how they build their communities. Well, Mm -hmm. she's like sort of, I know she's going to be leaving this community and heading out. And then she becomes this leader of what she calls like earth seed. Like the plan for the future is to populate in space. So Mm -hmm. like, Earth seed. I oh, I'm yeah. too down with that idea of Earth seed, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, like yeah. star seed, but Earth seed. But Earth um, seed, yeah. Seed, like so. Anyway, it's just a classic, and I had mm-hmm. not read it. I read the other Octavia Butler series that are mm-hmm. so good, which I didn't really like get into what they're about when I talked about it earlier. But I feel like this is the pre- if it's not the really the prequel to the space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Series, but, but it, it seems like, like it could be. It feels like it. It, it yeah. feels like that's what ended up happening. Like this is oh, what happened God. before, like the humans in the in the like before everything like totally totally fell apart and aliens had to come mm-hmm. like save us. Right. Anyway, oh, I feel okay. like I'm doing <laughs> parable of the sour disservice. <laughs> the way I was describing it, but it's really good. It's really good. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All righty, let's roll again. Lisa, what'd you get? 19. 19. Danny? Seven. Seven. Andy? 10. 10. Marlena? Eight. Eight. Krista? Four. Four. And I got 14. So, Lisa, you (laughs) are asking Krista. Okay, Krista, what the fuck is up with your book boy girl boy or girlfriend? <gasps> got a five. Okay. I should have thought about this beforehand. Those are really good <laughs> oh, I know. I I have to remember the name of the book. Oh my gosh. It's not it the scholarly was... partner. It's not the scholarly partner. <laughs> <laughs> I pick, but I don't want to repeat myself. But well Is he know. your book boyfriend? <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe but there's another one but i don't now oh, i really God. have to finish that book <laughs> what uh, i said now i really have to finish that book yeah that's you gotta wait till he comes in 
that's then it, it, I it just know what scholarly just, like what is that how deep are we how deep, like what is <laughs> what is that a use of for <laughs> I love it I love it more choice are we having choice. are we discussing like, protection or <laughs> no no so the book is a newer one called a fate inked in blood and it is a fantasy based on I don't know if based on is quite the right word, maybe inspired by Norse mythology. That's kind of the setting is like very much like a Nordic Ooh. Viking village sort of thing, a society, mm -hmm. but it's definitely mm -hmm. fantasy. And the like leading male in it, I think it's, his name's Bjorn. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. He wields a fiery hammer. I love that for you. A fiery hammer, you say? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that can't be a euphemism. Where I mean, my mind like, just went with that. I, my I'm addition. Really I like saying. his fiery hammer. She loves his fiery hammer. <laughs> I do. Listen, the way, the way. There's no way that can't be a euphemism. There's no way. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I had to remember, like, how does she describe? <laughs> But he's That's just amazing. one of those where he's just like such a good guy, so protective, but not in a disempowering way where it's like he's protective yeah. over the female lead, but in a way where he's like re always reminding her and helping her discover how powerful she is. So it's like yes, he's there when she times. needs him, but he's like, you got this most of the time. And I just I think that. it's That's amazing. Amazing. And That's sexy. Yeah. 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 That's hot. Awesome. Oh, good pick. Good yeah. one. Good pick. What did I'm you say that one was called out. again? A fate inked in blood. Okay. I'm gonna just have to write that down. That's the kind yeah, of yeah. Just gonna have to write that one really down surprised. too. Like I read through that book really fast, even though it looked like a chunky one, because it's one of those ones where it's like, oh, but well, I can't stop here because what's gonna happen now? Oh, I love those, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's how I don't get sleep. When I read and I get sucked in like that, I literally will be up for hours. Yeah. It's terrible. And I tell you what, uh, speaking of Hunger Games, I'll remember that because uh, Jacob actually read them, which is very few, far, and in between. But I got him hooked. And the mm -hmm. thing is, is because, what's her name? Susanna Clark? Is that it? Yeah. Um, she knows how to leave every stinking chapter on a, a cliffhanger, cliffhanger where you have mm -hmm. to keep going. Yeah. Every chapter is like, nope. Nope. Gotta keep no going. Place to stop. Gotta no place going. to stop. Yeah. Roll, roll. Oh, yeah. I'm ready, Road. <laughs> yeah, ready, Road. All right, Lisa, what'd you get? Three. Three. Danny? Uh, 18. Ooh. 18. Ooh. Andy? Five. Five. Marlena? 15. 15. Krista? Five. 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 All right, Five. Danny. Oh, I got a four. Uh, Danny, you are asking Lisa. I have my little. So, Lisa, what the fuck is up with the worst book you've ever read? <gasps> oh, no. I was worried I was going to get this question. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Uh, everybody was talking about, I don't know what got me on this. I don't know if it was all over TikTok. Everybody was talking about this, like, smutty romance novel about some blue icy ice planet barbarians. Ice oh, planet barbarians. <laughs> oh no, I no, I, I, no listen. I, I can read some wild smut and that's fine. I could not with this book. I got, I think, I mean it was a DNF. I got like maybe maybe a chapter, maybe two. And I was like, I'm out. I can't. It's I can't. I can't. It was the whole premise, uh, all of it, I just, as soon as I realized it was literally going to be like a romance romance, I was like, nope, uh-uh, uh, and it was like, the main character was like some random alien, you're like starving, dying, captured, and you meet some random alien guy, and he's like, oh, you're my mate now, or whatever, and I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, yeah, no. I'm I'm out. Out. So as soon as that happened, I think she just ventured out into like the icy world and just met the like main male masculine lead. And I was like, mm -hmm. I can't. No, I'm out. I'm out. I, can't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I read some, like I said, I read some wild stuff, but it was just the premise was too unbelievable and really wild crazy. and yeah, couldn't couldn't do it. Yeah. I'm sorry if anybody loves it. Yeah. I just 
<laughs> I could not. Could not. I can't do yeah. the I can't do the sci-fi smut when they're a different like when they're like animal based like a different yeah. kind of oh, like they're like yeah. the cat people or they're like a no, reptile. I it can't be animal. reptile. Why? No. Why is your alien a reptile and like going just, down on your main cat? That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Okay, but with this like lizard really tongue. I mean, imagery. I've read some really bad stuff apparently, but. But, I'm way too visual and minded for this conversation right now. <laughs> it just okay, immediately so, in my brain. Thanks for that. You say that, but <laughs> then there are books like The Beauty, which are mushroom based. The Beauty and the Beast? No. No. Mushroom based? It's one mushroom, of the main characters, like a mushroom break based character. character? Okay. That sounds like a really obvious euphemism, like a really bad joke. Oh, yeah. bad. Uh, they are the feminine. <laughs> They are the beauty. Oh, because no. all the women are gone. Oh, but then that leaves a, quite a conundrum when it comes to reproduction. But mushrooms are different, so I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm fascinated now. That. I can't. <laughs> there are scenes in that book that I felt like I was in the room, and I'll never unsee. Oh no! I'm <laughs> like I'm so well, they're not right gross, now. but like they're not like you know like wild, wet, but it, they're just like startling or like kind of like unsettling, unsettled, unsettling, unsettled. I'm gonna have to. It was leave. good though. Did you write it down? I'm so curious now. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna write it down. I loved it. Yeah, just a peek into Damon's mind. Yeah, like. You didn't feel it's different science, from mushrooms right? after. It's for science. Um, it's for science. It doesn't leave you. Every time I see a woman-shaped mushroom, I immediately <laughs> think of the book. Like, there's no I separation. Know how, how often? How often in life you see a woman-shaped mushroom? That's really what I'm surprised. You would be surprised. You would be surprised. What my algorithm looks like? You're gonna start to see them everywhere. I see them all okay. over the. place. Their algorithm oh, knows you and knows way too much about you. That's right. So Don't say that shit around Google, man. You're all we're gonna see I now is see possums and I see mushrooms. mushrooms in our feeds now. That's hilarious. I can't. Okay, that was great. That was great. Okay, all right, shall we roll again? Yeah, yeah let's roll. All righty, Lisa, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. Danny? Three. 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 Andy? Five. Five. Marlena? Eight. Eight. Krista? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh. And I rolled, I rolled a 17, so I am asking Danny. All right, so I got a two. So what the fuck is up with that book you read more than once? Oh, okay. So, I mean... It's so obvious though. Like I've read Harry Potter like 35,000 times. Like mm -hmm. I've been rereading that since 1998. Mm -hmm. So like <laughs> there's that. And I read so many books and like I do, oh, I know, I know. The Virgin Suicides mm -hmm. by Jeffrey um, Good book. E Eugenies or whatever. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. I I go through these things. I do go through cycles. Will I real reread stuff that I've read as a teenager? Um, mm -hmm. Like I've read Girl Me Interrupted too. more than once. But recently, uh, I was walking through the library and they had a copy of The Virgin Suicides in this mini book. Really? Yeah. Caught my eye and I was like, oh my God, I would love to reread that because that's one of those books that like I remember reading as a teenager. Like I can tell you, it was the time I had a twin size bed that was near the the um, window because like I remember sitting there and I remember just devouring this book. It was so beautifully written and it kind of stuck with me. So when I saw it at the library, I snatched it. I was like, I'm going to read it again. I want to see if it was like a time and place or if it was really that beautiful as I remembered. And it was the yeah. way that oh, this. I book love that. Was cool. It's like the way that it's described is from these boys' points of view that see mm -hmm. this, like, these girls going through it. And it's like 
as a teenager, I saw it one way, but as an adult, I saw it a completely different way, but it was just as beautiful. The scenes were just as dynamic. Everything felt so real and raw, even after so many years of like, yeah, rereading it. Like, you know, a lot of people say the catcher in the rye is one that you have to read as a kid. And I agree because I read it when I was in my twenties and I hated it. Oh, you really? Know? Huh. It's not something that I, I like. I didn't get it. I hated the main character. Like, you know, it just wasn't one of those things. So I always fear going back. Yeah. But that one was well worth it. We're, we're on our last 12, our 12th round. So we're doing 12 rounds, 12 questions. We didn't get through all the questions, but that's okay. All right, let's roll. Lisa, what'd you get? 15. 15. Danny? Seven. Seven. Andy? Eleven. Eleven. Marlena? I also got eleven. Krista? Fourteen. Fourteen. And I got a two. So, Lisa, you're high at fifteen, and you're asking me. Well, I rolled a one on my D12. So, what the fuck is up with that last thing you read? So when I was writing this question, it's hilarious that it's, you're asking me. It's when I was writing this question, I was thinking like not book, just the last thing you read. The last thing I read, y'all, was fan fiction on Tumblr this morning. So <laughs> love it. I, <laughs> I was I having my coffee, <laughs> reading some boyfriend smut on Tumblr yeah. this morning. Yes. And that is legit the last thing I have read. So that's amazing. amazing. I'd like to request links, please. I yes. will absolutely yeah. send you links. Uh, There's some really yes. good stuff written. Lisa Tumblr. and I have been chit chatting about the Dramione fanfic. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, I got some more on my list. Michelle. Yep, mm -hmm. I am blaming Tara at um, Tara, 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 Tara. Yes. Mm -hmm. She recommended in her last like monthly wrap. No, was it monthly wrap up? It might have been when she was answering the Tay romance tropes. And I read mm -hmm. that Dramione she talked about in silence and submission. Good. Mm -hmm. It's like a new cozy read. It's kind of a cozy read now, almost for me, because it's just so it was so well done. When I was talking about how consent can be done in a really beautiful way, this did that mm -hmm. really beautifully. Oh. It was so mm -hmm. good. It was like BDSM, but like really soft and, and healing and caring. And it was lovely. It was lovely. It was so good. And I'd never read any Dramione stuff before. So mm -hmm. I'm hooked. Now I'm reading Manacled. So just I have so Manacled on my on, on my phone. I, I, I've got to finish it because mm -hmm. uh, it was so dark. It, it sucked me right in. And yep. uh, it, it's it's a good, but Tara has all oh. the good recommendations. Oh, yeah. Like legit, she's, she's, a spreadsheet. she's my favorite. Yeah, she has a spreadsheet on her notion with like tags and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, since we finished the last question, do y'all want to just like last question? We'll just all do it. Yeah. What's the last yeah. thing you read? Like, not necessarily a book. Legit, the last thing you read. I was just saying. I'll just say. I'll just say manacled because that's what I was literally manacled. reading that last was night. At that time was manacled. Yeah, that's amazing. yeah, Great. yeah. And it was really the last good. thing you read. Oh, I did read a little bit yesterday. So that was to be devoured. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That was the last little blip of what I read because I read it on my phone. I was sitting down, so I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice, that's amazing. Yep. Andy, what about you? What's the last thing you read? Um, I read the first paragraph in The Familiar because it popped up and I was thinking about reading. I was like, how can I add this to my list of books I'm already reading? <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. Fantastic. What's the first right. paragraph? Just wondering. Yes, so good. Um, I was like, I think it'll fit in really well with like, because I'm, you know, because I, get, I like to read a few at a time and then kind of skip around depending on my mood. And I think it's going to fit in my little oh, like, rotation. Three, three, some nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, do that nice. too. That's yeah. Great. The, for me, yeah. the last thing I read, um, well, it was another question too, because it's the nonfiction that I'm reading right now is The Kabbalistic mm -hmm. Hero by Robert Wang. Ooh. So I read a little bit of it this morning. Mm -hmm. That's great. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. All right, Krista, what was the last thing you read? So my technical last thing I read was just before getting on here was an article about um, <laughs> uh, how baby groundhogs are raised, like how long yes. it takes. <laughs> That's amazing. I love we that. We wreaked havoc in my garden for, I kid you not, uh -huh. 
three days. It was like three days, three nights. The groundhogs were here. And then gone. 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 And so now in my head, I'm like, what happened? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? So yeah. I needed to research and find out like how long does it take because I am not willing to believe that something happened. But they, did you like, do now, any of the remedies or they just went on their own? Like dis no, I don't think it was anything I did because Paul saw them after I left for work one day and the more he said he saw one baby in the morning. Uh -huh. And then I got home, it was Thursday night and I have not seen a single mm -hmm. one. No, maybe mama. that was that seven of swords that came up. We did a reading on mm -hmm. her. Maybe that was that seven of swords sneaking away. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. They, yeah, they just they were spirited away in the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she might have moved them. Yeah, they've been they watching. Been I can be watched. You understand? I can be watched with my children. Yeah. I'm grown. Well, that's what I was. I'm gone. Right I'm out of here. I was standing guard <laughs> yeah. until like dark. Uh, crazy. She probably did move them. She's like, this lady's. She's on her life. Not my kids. I gotta move him away from her. I don't like her. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what amazing. I was reading. I'm like, well, thank yeah. you all. We'll let Lisa go because she has to go. Like, be professional. Yes. Good luck. Yes. Yes. I gotta do a thing. I gotta do a thing. Yeah. Um, all right, y'all. So we say the the weird the weird bye and all. Yeah, bye. 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 Bye.